All right, for the 20,000th time, I'll try to make a video without my dog barking. FishingTV.com, YouTube, what's up? So I've got cr crushed oyster shells in here. I got it for my chicken feed, and basically it's going to give calcium to the roots. Now, is it going to fluctuate my pH? Yes, it will, but not too much. That's why I didn't put much in here. So uh, basically, <clears throat> I've got calcium in my dirt now. Plant, if some certain plants need calcium, they've got it now. And I didn't put too much in because I didn't want to flush away the pH. Omar, you were asking me about pH. What's pH? Basically, pH is the, for, is the amount of acidity, acid and alkaline you have in your water. If it's alkaline, it's going to be above 7. 7 to 14 is alkaline. If you get a 14, that's the most alkaline you can get. And if you go below 7, you get acid. And zero is acid the most acid you can get that probably burn your finger off so uh, yeah most Amazon fish like 6.5 6.4 to mm, around there so that's a little bit of acidic water and that's what I got in my tap water too because I it comes from the rain I don't have city water that's why city people love cichlids because of, that's why most city people like cichlids and stuff because they don't have to fluctuate with their pH because the tap water is like 8 point something and if it's not high enough, the substrate, if you use an aconite substrate, which is basically calcium, it's going to raise the pH a little, so you'll be set. So uh, 125. Also, the dirt. Um, this is just the beginning of my dirt. This is going to be the bottom layer. But um, the dirt. How am I going to dirt cycle this tank? It's basically, I might not build a duck weed in here because i got the overflows. And drawer four device might not work either. So what I was thinking about is either getting a few water hyacinths and a few water cabbages, water lettuce, fully grown water lettuce, um, the adult size, the big size, the, the huge size, um, not the drawer stuff, but the big one. <clears throat> I'm thinking about putting some of them in here. But I got over a thousand of them in the pond. So I was thinking, hey, bring about a hundred of those in here. Let it soak out that nutrients. Let them grow. Put them back out in the sun, sun, sunshine. They get light. Boom. They kick off and multiply even more. So, and that's one way I can kick the dirt cycle out of the way and get a lot more. <clears throat> I don't really need more though, but that's what I want to do. Don't bark, girl. It's okay. So, uh, I was going to put it over there. This is my original place I wanted to have it, but I was afraid because over here it's not exactly leveled. Where the tank's at now, it is against that wall it's not but I said hey if I got a sump now if I'm gonna put a sump on it um, I'm, I want some room to walk back there in case of emergency I need to deal with something if I've got a leak in the PVC piping or something I don't know but I, I want to be able to walk back there and fix the problem and now I can also I'm gonna paint this wall take all that old paint off and give a new paint job put some sheetrock up over there and I've got a little shelf over here now so I can uh, put my medication, fish food, uh, and whatnot up there, accessories and whatever. And uh, that's what's going on, guys. My bait will be the first fish to go in here. But I'm thinking about taking him out, the white one. I'm thinking about taking him out of the tank because basically, um, how do I say this? Um, he's, he's a beta, and to be honest, it's best to keep him alone. And if I'm setting this 125 up um, with a lot of cichlids, not African, South American, and not the big, not the big Oscars or Red Devils or Jack Dempsey's. I love them, but not me. I'd rather have a planting tank. But uh, I'm going to have a lot of cichlids dealing with rams and uh, um, angels. And I am getting another female angel. And there's a gold angel I want in my pet store. But I don't know if it's a girl. And if, I, don't want, I don't want three boys and one female. So under the sump, this is either going to be the sump or my 29 gallon is going to be the sump. You can see I got some swords in there, some mysterious, and some, some Italian vowel. Please stop barking. And uh, all right, she's barking, so I'm going to go. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Later.